Welcome to Educational World. In today's video lesson, we will be looking at a question involving simple pendulum. You are provided with a pendulum ball, string, red touch stand and clamp. Suspend the bulb from the red touch stand such that the bulb just touches the floor. The point of suspension to the floor L is equal to 1.5 meters and that should be kept constant throughout the experiment. Reduce the length of the pendulum with H equal to 20 centimeters and as shown in the diagram. In this position, displace the bulb and record the time for 20 oscillations. Hence, determine the period of oscillation. Record your values of H, T, the period and the square of the period. Repeat the experiment for different values of H which are 40, 60, 80 and 100 centimeters respectively. In each case, record the corresponding values of T, the period and the square of the period. Tabulate your results. Plot the graph of H against, the t against T square. Determine the slope of the graph and the intercept on the vertical axis. State two precautions you took to ensure accurate results. Let's assume that we have set up our apparatus as required. Since we are trying to outsmart this current question, the only thing that we need in order to succeed is the time taken to complete 20 oscillations. We can get that by performing the first practical or we can get the result from our friends. This practical hinges on the fact that the relationship between the period and the length of the thread of a bulb is given by the formula t is equal to 2 pi all to the square root of l over g where t is the period l is the length of the thread g is the acceleration due to gravity which has a value of 10 meter per second square and pi is taken as, as 3.142 now we begin at h is equal to 20 centimeters now let's say that we've performed the first 20 oscillations and we've gotten the time for those oscillations to be 45 seconds, 45.7 seconds. That is all that we need. When H is equal to 20 centimeters, remember that is not the actual length of the pendulum thread. The length of the pendulum thread will be 150 centimeters minus 20 which is equal to 130 cm and from our formula t is equal to 2 pi all to the square root of l over g now taking the square of both sides t square is now equal to 4 pi square over g multiplied by l and we now have to simplify 4 pi square over g which is a which is a constant and substituting the values where they are supposed to be we now have that 4 pi square over g is equal to 3.949 then putting it into equation 2 we have that t square is equal to 3.949 l now we will be using this formula for the rest of our work t square is equal to 3.949 l for us to proceed we must first of all talk about what a period is a period is the time taken to complete one oscillation. So we must always calculate the time taken to complete one oscillation. If it took 45.7 seconds to complete 20 oscillations, then one oscillation will be completed in 45.7 all over 20s, which will give us 2.285 seconds. Evaluating for t square, we will have it to be 5.221 second square. Now our table of values becomes 
when h is equal to 20 centimeters t the time for 20 oscillations is 45.70 seconds period is 2.285 seconds and the square of the period is 5.221 seconds now we move over when h is equal to 40 centimeters we can see the length of the thread now will be 150 minus 40 which is equal to 110 centimeters which is 110 cm recall our formula that t square is equal to 3.949 l so we'll put it into the formula t square is equal to 3.949 times 1.1 meters which will give us 4.431 seconds square then that is the square of the period but we'll have to evaluate for the period which is the square root of 4.431 which is equal to 2.105 seconds so if the time for one oscillation is 2.105 seconds then 20 oscillations will be 20 times 2.105 which is equal to 42.1 seconds our table of values now become when h is equal to 40 cm the time for 20 oscillations is 42.1 seconds the period is 2.105 seconds and the square of the period is 4.431 seconds square we now move over to when h is equal to 60 centimeters and we have that the actual length of the thread of the pendulum will now be 150 minus 60 which is equal to 90 cm or 0 0.9 meters recall our formula t square is equal to 3.949 l and substituting the value of l into that formula we have that t square is equal to 3.949 times 0 0.9 which will give us 3.625 seconds square. Evaluating for the period, we will have that the period is equal to 1.904 seconds. So if we took 1.904 seconds for 20 oscillations to for one oscillation to occur, then 20 oscillations will occur in 20 times 1.904, which is equal to 38.08 seconds. Our uh, table of value now becomes when h is equal to 60 cm time for 20 oscillations is 38.08 seconds the period is 1.904 seconds and the square of the period is 3.625 seconds square we move over to when h is now equal to 80 centimeters the length of the pendulum thread will now be 150 minus 80 which is 70 cm or 0 0.7 meters recording our formula t square is equal to 3.949 l and substituting the value of l into that equation we have that t square is equal to 3.949 times 0 0.7 which is equal to 2.820 seconds square and evaluating for the period we will have that the period is equal to 1.679 seconds so if we took one oscillation 1.679 seconds to occur then 20 oscillations will occur in 20 times 1.679 which will give us 33.58 seconds our table of value now becomes when h is equal to 80 centimeters time for 20 oscillations is 33.58 seconds the period is 1.679 seconds and the square of the period is 2.820 seconds we now move over to when h is equal to 100 centimeters now the length of the thread of the pendulum reduces to 150 minus 100 which is equal to 50 cm of 0 0.5 meters don't forget our formula which states that t square is equal to 3.949 l and substituting the value of l into that to that formula we now have that t square is equal to 3.949 multiplied by 0 0.5 
which is equal to 2.014 seconds square. Solving for the period, we have that the period is the square root of 2.014, which is now equal to 1.419 seconds. So if it took an oscillation 1.419 seconds to occur, 20 oscillations will occur in 20 times 1.419, which is equal to 28.38 seconds. Now our table of value becomes when h is equal to 100 centimeters, time for 20 oscillations is 28.38 seconds. The period is 1.419 seconds. And the square of the period is 2.014 seconds. Second square, sorry. Now we have our table of values. As you can see, our decimal places are uniform. And the, type, the, the header of our table of value all has the corresponding units for each of the columns. So this is how your table of value should look like. Remember, we are going to plot the graph of h against t square and the graph will appear to be a straight line graph but it is sloping downwards that is a negative slope now to find the slope of our graph is changing the vertical axis all over changing the horizontal axis so we are going to take two corresponding values of h and t square so we from our table of values when 80 minus 60 all over corresponding values of of t square which is 2.280 minus 3.625 and we simplify that we'll be getting a negative value minus 24.84 centimeter per second square that is the unit of our slope centimeter per second square because h is in centimeters and the period the square of the period is in second square so with that we now find the intercept on the vertical axis the intercept is the point where the graph cuts the axis either the horizontal or the vertical axis so the intercept on the vertical axis is at the 100 cm point the intercept on the vertical axis is at the 100 cm point and the precautions to take in performing these practicals is that you ensure that the bulb was not hitting the floor while, while oscillating. Secondly, you avoided error due to parallax when taking your readings. So this is all about the practical. You can see how we, we, out, we, we, we outsmart the examiners.